first week, I laid on this couch and cried my eyeballs out. I was numb, I couldn't move. And then I said, you gotta get up now. Wife of Brittany Griner, Sherelle. This one is specifically just me and BG. Opening up for the first time on the WNBA All-Stars detainment in Russia and the fight to bring her home. How did you first hear the news and what was your initial reaction? So I first heard the news through Brittany, actually. She started texting me around 2 a.m. that morning. Babe, 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 wake up. They have me in this room. I don't know what's going on. And so I instantly text back, who are they and what room? And she's like, the customs people, they just grabbed me when I was going through and they have me in this room. She sent me a message and said, they're about to take my phone, don't text anymore. So I'm like, just call me when you can, you know? And so that was it. How long did it take for you to have communication with her again after that? We're, what, 96 days? And the phone call never came. But you have been able to communicate through letters? Sporadically, you know, here and there. I'm grateful for even that. On February 17th, video released by Russian authorities appears to show Griner going through airport security near Moscow, an employee removing a package from the 31-year-old athlete's bag. Russian state media reporting vape cartridges containing hashish oil were found, an offense punishable by up to 10 years in prison. I know that you want to speak with President Biden. Absolutely. I just keep hearing that he has the power. She's a political pawn, so if they're holding her because they want you to do something, then I want you to do it. And I know that Secretary Blinken has reached out to you and has communicated to you that top priority. Do you feel that's the case? <laughs> I don't know. I was grateful for the call. You say she's top priority, but I want to see it. And I feel like to see it would be me seeing BG on U.S. soil. At this point, I don't even know who I'm getting back when she comes back. Griner is not the only American detained overseas. Former U.S. Marine Trevor Reed recently freed in a prison swap, seen in this video on Russian state TV. Another Marine, Paul Whelan, has been in Russian custody since 2018. Even though they're separate people, yeah. separate roles, no connection besides what they're going through in Russia, I obviously want him back too because you don't want anybody to be there going through what they're going through. And she had spent quite a bit of time in Russia playing for the team there. What was her experience like prior to this? Honestly, great. You know you are a GOAT if you can actually play in Russia on the team BG plays for. They treat them like superstars. Has she ever, Brittany, ever expressed anything to you about that, about the pay inequity with the WNBA and having to go play overseas? Absolutely. BG would wholeheartedly love to not go overseas. She has only had one Thanksgiving in the States in nine years since she's been pro. And she misses all that stuff just because, you know, she can't make enough money in the WNBA to sustain her life. Has it been comforting to see all the WNBA courts with BG 42? Yes, but I think more specifically, it comforts BG. It lets her know she's not forgotten mm. and like, Obviously, you know, when you're sitting over there in your country, having, they haven't come and to your rescue yet. I know that it makes her feel good because she doesn't want to be forgotten. She makes me go camping. The imprisoned grinder <laughs> even sending a bouquet of roses before our interview. She had her attorneys call Lindsay, her agent, and bring me wow. roses for today because she knew it was going to be a lot. Through heartfelt letters, her presence has been felt amidst the pain. How are you holding up during this time? I'm okay because you have to be technically. You know, she wrote me one letter and was like, babe, I know you want to go down right now, but like, don't yes yet. Because every day you wake up and the fact that you're still in that reality, it is a reason for you to lose faith and to not have hope in all of the above. It's, it gives you so much reason to go down. and. I won't go down until she's back. <laughs> I just won't, I can't, I can't. Every single day matters for me to be sound, for me to be alert, for me to be attentive, to make sure that she comes back, you know, but it's hard, it's hard.
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.